Hello beautiful people you are watching Mukuni Television and this is Daily Talk with me Kenneth Pelete. Now as Mukuni Television we are offering a free advertising space so if you have a business out there all you need to do is just follow and like our page as well as share our any of our content on this page to about five people or five groups then you get yourself a free free ticket to advertise your business right here so you can get in touch with us on 0964373401 or 0975934997 so it's free all you need to do is just follow and like our page and share any of our posts to just five people or five groups and then you can get in touch with us and we can give you free advertising space for your products and services all right now back to our usual program now today's topic is on solitude and uh, spending time alone uh, i'm going to speak um my part all right and how i i find it so beneficial to spend time alone or how is it beneficial to me being in solitude so the first thing you should realize is that uh, you need to have time for yourself okay you have a busy schedule obviously throughout the week and uh, if you go you have a you are on a holiday uh, find time to spend time alone or if it's on weekend where you don't have to do some work for somebody or for some company or for some some job or whatever some project a fine time to be alone it's very important and very vital now how do i do it for me i have what i call five i start with five and end with five all right so i start the first five hours alone all right and i end the day with the last five hours before i retire to bed all right so how do i do this for example, let's say, for example, your day begins uh, at 7, all right? That's 7 a.m. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, up to somewhere 12. Most of the times, even the people that I live with, uh, my family members and everybody around me, they'll tell you to say, this is what, what he's saying is actually right. Because mostly I'll, I'll lock myself up in the studio or in my small office and uh, reflect on and plan on how my day is going to be my week is going to be and just like that then when i'm done with what i'm doing my own programs and then i can go out take a walk go to the market buy some stuff come back home and spend the rest of my day alone as well as my family okay and then before i i go to bed what i need to do is i have to look at the day how was the day i need to be alone to look at the day how it was was it productive did i make any progress where should i amend here and there um now take note i'm saying during weekends or holidays when i'm not of course on on civic duties or doing other projects with my colleagues and friends okay so i take five first and the last five and of course the the rest of the eight hours seven to eight hours uh, it's time for resting and sleeping so now i'm going i'm going to share with you um some of the uh scientific proven uh benefits of uh solitude or spending time alone and then of course um this is the information I, I got from uh uh amy maureen uh when you are in a group or you're crowded most most of the times it's you develop the attitude of we against them all right that attitude of we against them it's everywhere in workplaces in, in all the groupings uh, it might be kubola mutamba bola mutokwebera mpira it's it's always about me we against them so that attitude is is always there but the time you spend alone you reflect and at least develop that compassion for people that might not be in your inner circle solitude increases productivity all right how does it increase productivity when you are alone or when you have a little of some some little of privacy as you're working uh production obviously is high okay i know there are some kind of work and uh, some jobs like factory kind of work where you need to to be a lot of you at, at some certain uh 
some certain uh, place and you, you are doing the same thing. But for those that do like office work and um, those th those kind of jobs which don't really require a lot of people around you, okay, it's better to find time to do that alone or have some little of privacy. But I know there are, there's a modern way of uh, obviously uh, workspace where you you have an open workspace and there are tables. Obviously, each and every person is in their own booth, but you can still interact. That's also a little of some privacy because you're in, you're in your own booth. Definitely, you, you are able to maneuver and do things and think uh, through what you're trying to do. And productivity that way is high. And like when you are crowded and you are always having that divided attention, being alone can help you build your mental strength. When you're alone, this is where you you reflect on so many things okay you we were talking about nature therapy with uh, a, a colleague of mine uh haben tukutuku uh, a, a month ago and how important it is to everybody so because you are alone you are away from the the, the noise and uh you, you reflect on your life and you you listen on depression okay you, you you revamp yourself, you revive yourself, you become um, a new you when you spend time alone and like where you are just with everybody and a lot of people around you, you can't even think properly. Your mind tends to block. The other thing is you tend to develop some kind of creativity and this is where artists come in. If you've noticed, most of the authors, the, 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 the musicians, the, 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 when they are writing a song or some relics or a book or anything, they, they would rather go somewhere very far away from the family and the noise so that they can, their minds can wander and uh, think properly. I remember writing my first story at school in uh, Malambanyama, I mean Kafushi. Uh, I used to go in an orchard. All right. So for those who've been to Kafushi Secondary School, they, they understand. Obviously, this time it's, it's no longer there. It's very sad. I used to go in the orchard and uh, by the dam sometimes and write and develop uh, all those stories that now I'm putting on screen. Being alone helps you or gives you an opportunity to plan for your life. I mean, how do you plan when you are with a lot of people? Every time you are around people in crowded areas how do you plan your life okay so it helps you reflect on your goals your visions okay on your achievements what you what you've done and what you ought to do when you're alone because there's no one to distract you and there there is uh, less um, influence from the external forces so when you are with other people and all the time is all of your time is spent with other people it's it's rare that you can compliment yourself because there's a lot of negative and positive energy out there and when it mixes of course you'll be confused but when you sit alone there you you learn that you develop that kind of positive energy and learn to love yourself all right and maybe this is maybe i don't know maybe this is the reason as to why people have, yeah, have sometimes go into what we call identity crisis because they don't have that time to sit down and look at themselves, think of themselves as special people and uh, identify themselves and uh, uh, redefine themselves and define themselves. But obviously, if you spend time alone and most of your time thinking about who you are and how special you are, how wonderfully and fearfully you are created, um, in the eyes of the creator definitely you don't want to change anything about you all right that's just me so find your mean time and use it and obviously you're gonna be a better person it's been a pleasure having you and uh thank you for your support and following uh this program daily talk with me kenneth pellete i really appreciate but remember to follow our facebook page and also like it also you can share the posts and then you get to advertise your goods and services right on this channel mukuni television for free now this offer runs up to the month of february and t's and c's apply